In this video, we're going to look at some common errors and I'm going to talk about some tips and cautions. I've probably already mentioned some of these, but we'll take a look. All right, here's a common error and this one can be a booger to find if you do it by accident. Um, and that's adding a semicolon at the end of an if clause. That's a common mistake. You put this semicolon right here. And what this does, if you actually put a semicolon right after your condition, it basically ends the if statement. So it says if, and then evaluates that as true or false. And there is no, it doesn't consider there to be any code block for true. There's no code block for false. And the if statement is over at that point. Okay. The compiler is no longer looking at anything, regardless of whether this is true or false. This ends the statement. Uh, so this code block that's underneath isn't considered part of the if statement. So what happens? Whether this is true or false doesn't matter anymore. It runs each of these lines every single time. Okay. So if we were testing to see if the radius was greater than zero, and so we put a negative five, it would still print out the circle of radius and it would uh, actually calculate it um, and print out the answer. Uh, I find this a little humorous as a math person because I know that a negative radius when you square it ends up being a positive number and the area still comes out okay but technically a radius shouldn't be negative so um, no matter what the code in this block is going to run if the semicolon is accidentally put there okay it's harder to accidentally do that if you're using uh, curly braces on the same line uh, I think I mentioned that back in a previous video in another chapter when we're doing blocks some people prefer this way some people prefer to put the curly brace at the end of the line you would never see a curly brace and a semicolon at the end of the line it's one or the other um, so this is one of those cases where this method while easier to read for a lot of people um, it may have prevented it doing it the other way okay. so what makes this hard to find it's not a compilation error it's not a runtime error. This is a logic error. So it's completely the programmer's fault. Um, it, it's not that the compiler is doing anything wrong. It's doing exactly what you told it to do. It will compile just fine. Uh, it's not a runtime error. It's not going to crash your program. It's just going to run some lines that you didn't intend to run, regardless of the condition in the parentheses. So. They say it down here, this error often occurs when you use the next line block style, which is the next line block style. You tend not to do it if you're using the other uh, same line block style. Tip. So here we got something. If the number modulus 2 equals 0, then we're going to say this Boolean variable even. We're going to set it to true. Otherwise, we're going to set this Boolean variable even to false. That's all well and good, it works just fine, but there's a simpler way to write it. Boolean even, so we're going to declare that variable on the same line, okay. and then we have equals, and remember equals is the assignment operator. So this looks funny to a lot of people and they like, I don't understand what's going on, because we have an equals here, and we have a double equals over here. So remember, double equals is a comparison, Single equals is an assignment operator. And how does the assignment operator always work? I, I like to stress this from the very beginning, and I think I have in previous videos. The assignment operator always takes whatever expression is on the right and assigns it to whatever is on the left. Okay. In this case, this Boolean variable called even. Okay. So what is the expression on the right? Well, it's the number modulus 2. Okay, that can either come out to zero or one, and we're comparing it to zero. Okay, so if the number modulus two is equal to zero, this statement would be true, and it is going to sign true to even, which is also what this did. Okay, this is just a much shorter way to write it. We could put this all on one line easily. Okay, number modulus two equal equals zero is going to do the comparison. If there was no remainder, uh, this evaluates as true, we assign it to that Boolean variable even. Exact same code, one line versus one, two, three, four lines. And then a caution. Okay, this is, I like to call this a noob error. Uh, this is for newbie programmers, you can always tell a noob. 
Uh, and I don't say that derogatorily. It's just a funny way to say it because people don't forget it when I say, if I see this in your code, I'm going to call you a noob. Um, it's kind of a running joke in a lot of my classes. If even equal equal true. Okay. Remember, inside this if statement, inside the parentheses, there needs to be a Boolean expression. Okay. This is perfectly valid. We can take even, which is a Boolean, it's either true or false, and test to see if it's true or false. But we don't have to because it already is true or false. So we can just as easily say this, if even, because even is already true or false. I don't have to compare it to even to see if it's true or false. I, oh, I hope that makes sense to you. So even is true. True equal equal true? Yes, it does. True equals true. So we'll print out it's even. Okay. But this is just as valid. If even is even true? It certainly is. And if the condition inside the parentheses is true, I'm going to print out it as even. So these are equivalent statements. This one's way shorter and easier to read. Um, so if you're using a Boolean inside your parentheses, you do not need to compare it. You can just say if and put the variable in there. What if you want to see if it's false? Okay. You could say if even equal equal false, that would be okay. But the better way would be just to put the exclamation point in front of it and say if not even. Okay. If even is not true, th then it would print out this is odd or something like that. Okay. So there's never, when you're using a Boolean, you never really have to do a double equal comparison. Um, you can just use the Boolean on its own.